So a big part of your musical, like, you like you like collaboration, right? It's like a big part of why I, you want, why, why you want to make music. I like collaborating with people, but yeah, I, I don't I don't want to sell my beats. Uh, partly because I can't be bothered making a website and all that kind of thing. Um, but I've but it's made me bitter, like collaborating with people and working on like full length EPs with people who come over and they sort of your friend and I'm just like I just want to make beats and and do I love doing the process right recording and and doing it mm. and then you fucking finish like a bunch of tracks and and, and you like no one understands what kind of work goes into making a fucking sick hip hop track like it's a lot of pre-production and digging through crates to find a good sample and like and these guys come over and rap and then they're your friends and you finish fucking full length EPs and you say, okay, and then like never hear from them again. It's like people have, I don't want to bang on like an angry old man, but like people have other agendas that they want to make, you know, they're coming over and using your studio because you've got a mic or, mm. and making these tracks. And I never fucking release them. Like I fall out with the person, not like intentionally, but just, um, yeah, I've got heaps of fucking tracks that I never even put out just because. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't want to like, because why? I will put them out eventually, but it's just left me really bitter working with rappers who come around. I mean, like come around and pretend to be your friend, and and then you fucking do it, and then they you fucking they they fucking stooge you somehow, and it's like oh they think that because they. It's just the, the the amount of time and effort and love and and heart and soul that goes into like making these tracks and then yeah I've, well I suppose I'm I'm learning now from from that's a, that's a lesson for me and learning from it and now mm. now I'll just find someone I like and do like one track or a collab and right, right. see where that goes yeah rather than yeah. And it's funny, I was talking to another guy at this beat battle thing the other night on the weekend, and he's basically telling me the exact same story. And I, really? like he said, oh, you know, like I've worked with this guy, I've known him for 20 years, and we've got a bunch of, you know, tracks we worked on, and then I never hear from him. And this other producer Crazy. who lives in Geelong telling me basically what I've been fucking like, you know, I'm, I'm not pissed off anymore, but yeah. What do you think people are... What's the, you know, like, why are they making music, do you think, if they're not really... Well, uh, someone told me uh, two years ago about, you know, hip-hop and the spirit of hip-hop and, and hip-hop, like, you know, uh, saying, oh, okay, you, I've got the spirit of hip-hop living within me. Like, I do it for the love and there's something there's something in me that's just going to keep making beats and doing this until I die regardless of if I get famous or recognition or anything like that mm. and but hip hop is such a massive genre right it's like there are a lot of people making hip hop who fucking are doing it for the fame or other reasons and it's like now i think you can see you can, you're beginning to see see through these artists coming up and yeah, like rapping about, you know, bling, and it's like, that's not fucking, that's not what I'm doing it for. I'm mm. doing it because of, you know, music and uh, creativity. Like like KRS once said, um, I don't I don't have no gold chain around my neck. I don't need it because I got your respect. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not even really getting any respect, but I'm still <laughs> doing it. Like, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. That's KRS1 saying. KRS1, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm standing up and I'm telling you I am Warhol. I am the number one most impactful.